good fight these two have put on. There's hardly been a stern warning from referee George Smith. He warned them both not to hold in the early stages, but since then there's hardly been any sort of warning at all. They work inside, you see, it's not, not much holding being done there. A little bit. Slight cut somewhere near Fenderson's right eye. is cut, he's cut alongside the right eye but not seriously. Oh what a hard round that was, the 13th. Functional slightly cut. The pace hotted up, he was equal to it, and this is proving to be a really first-class world featherweight championship. Well, there are two runs to go now, and this is where Famishon has really got to pull it out. He must be behind, I feel, but what can he do now to... Try and swing it his way and win the world title that his uncle, Ray Famichon, failed to win against Willie Pep in Madison Square Garden in 1950. Famichon getting the signal from his corner to work hard now. Denny Mancini working as his second with him there, telling him to keep punching, keep punching two hands. themselves a lot of supporters, very nearly 6,000 of them I should think in the Albert Hall here tonight, but the real sympathy and the real sentiment here is on the side of the Australian, Johnny Fanshawe. occasions on which George Smith has had to warn either man. Famishon getting his left hand to work in the 14th. What a pace these two have kept up. It's hardly been a round in which either man has been able to coast or has wanted to coast. well behind the left hand in this round, working really well and forcing Magra to go full out.
for a memorable evening and a memorable fight this is. a little tired there as he goes to his stool and he's blowing. He was really forced to go all out there and so now we come to the final three minutes with the champion Legra grimly trying to hold on to his title here. I think he must be out in front but this is a fight in which you feel it's going to go hard and fast right to the very last bell. Let's have a quick look if we can at Famishon before he comes out for the final round. This man who's put up such a wonderful fight as the underdog, Johnny Famishon. French-born Australian, and now the final three minutes coming up. Listen to this crowd now, stamping their feet and cheering these two on into the final three minutes. The last round of the World Featherweight Championship, Jose Legrard from Cuba and Spain, the holder against this wonderful challenger from down under, the Frenchman, Johnny Famishon. And Legra is going to put in a real flashing finish. Never been 15 rounds in his life. That's a slip. This crowd now is on tiptoe with excitement behind me. Ambrose Palmer, the manager of Famishon, standing up and waving Famishon on. Come forward, he's saying. Legra doing the double shuffle, Mohamed Ali stuff. What a finish for this fight. excitement in a boxing arena in Britain for years, I think not since Cooper and Clay. is having a terrific last run. Famishon is having one of the best rounds of the whole fight for himself here. There's a minute to go. Famishon is the one who's punching strong there and hard, and Famishon is winning this last round, he's winning it. It's definitely Famishon on top now in the last half minute. Less than 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds. There's the bell. What a title fight it was. What a title fight. Famishon. Famishon. Famishon has won the World Featherweight Championship. 